This is part 17 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to make a custom validator function reusable in Angular. The built-in Angular validators like min, max, required, pattern, etc. are reusable. This means we can use them on any form control on any Angular form. To be able to use these built-in validators, all we have to do is import the validators class from Angular Forms package and then tie the validator functions to the form control that you want to validate. In this case, on full name form control, we are using three validator functions required, min length, and max length. Now, if we take a look at one of these built in validator functions, notice it's implemented as a static function. This allows us to use this validator function without having the need to create an instance of validators class. We have built a custom validator function in our previous video and that function at the moment is within our create employee component file. We want to make this email domain custom validator function reusable just like the built-in validator functions so we can use it with any form control on any Angular form. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder in our Angular project. Let's name the folder shared. To the shared folder, let's add a new TypeScript file. I'm going to name it custom.validators.ts. We want to create a class in this file. I'm going to export this class as well, so we can import it from the other files where we need it. I'm going to name this class custom validators. At the moment, our custom validator function is present in create employee component file. So let's cut this function from here and paste it within our custom validators class. We want to make this function static. So let's use static keyword. We don't have abstract control imported from Angular forms. So let's include the required import statement for that. With this change, we made our custom validator function reusable just like the built-in validators. To be able to use this custom validator function on any form control on any Angular form all you have to do is import this custom validators class and then tie this email domain static function to the form control that you want to validate. At the moment, we are using this custom validator on email form control in our create employee component. Notice we have a red squiggly under email domain. This is because Angular cannot find this email domain function. So just like how we import the built-in validators class from Angular forms, let's import our custom validators class from this file custom.validators.ts Within this imported custom validators class, email domain is a static function. So we can use the name of the class to call the email domain function. Let's save all our changes and take a look at the browser. Our custom validator should work exactly the same way as before. Notice within the email field, if I enter any domain other than del.com, we have the validation error. Email domain should be del.com. If I change the domain to del.com, the validation error disappears. So, to make your custom validators reusable, first create and export a class. Within that class, include all your validator functions as static functions. Once this is done, just like the built-in validators, we can use our custom validators on any form control that we want to validate. All we have to do is first import the custom validators class and then tie the validator function to the form control that you want to validate. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.